Hey, welcome to CopTool on the job safety tips with SafeX. I'm Jay and this is Travis from SafeX. Thanks, Jay. Um, so I think what we're, we're, what we're going to be talking about today is proper configuration of extension cords and extension cord connections using GFCIs. Pretty exciting topic. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes. Recently there's been a big run on citations from improper cord configurations coming from this 1926 403 b2 it's not a new standard but it's a standard that recently osha has decided they're really going to cra start cracking down on and enforcing out there okay a lot of this comes from equipment being used in with what the manufacturers say on the labels okay so let's kind of talk about some of the stuff here yep one of the big things you can see down here is do not plug one extension cord into another and that's okay. one of the most common things that as a safety specialist going out on the job sites that i see Sure. Um, you know, somebody's 100 feet away from a court from from where they need to work at. Use 250s. Use 250 foot extension yeah. cords, right? We we need to get 100 feet over there uh, to use a use a grinder or use yep. a saw. We, we only have 50 feet of cords. What people are doing is they're in configuring them and they're plugging two together. And OSHA's coming down the crack and citations on it. Uh, okay. Similar to similar to the extension cords. Another thing is they're hitting hitting us with citations on improperly configuring the GFCIs. Okay. So. Right here, do not plug, do not use the extension cord to connect the GFCI to the power receptacle. Okay. And pretty much all your GFCI manufacturers are putting that exact same verbiage on yep. there. Commonly, what I'm seeing out there on jobs is we have a generator, a wall outlet, something like that. We're taking a 100-foot cord, plugging our GFCI yep. on the output there, and OSHA's coming in, and they're, and they're citing people. Okay. So, so the quick, easy solution is... Plug the GFCI in first, Absolutely. and then plug the extension cord into the GFCI. Absolutely. And right now, uh, another good way to create additional length and uh, really get where you need to go, there's manufacturers out there now that are making 100-foot GFCI cords. So okay. Well, right, at, right here, we have a 50-foot extension cord. Imagine an extra 50 feet of cord on there, so we've got 100 feet, and we have actually the GFCI, GFCI attached into it. Okay. And off of that, and what the labeling says from the manufacturers, we can plug a 100-foot cord off of the pigtail end here, and we'd be good to go. So that would give us okay. 200 feet of cord. So the GFCI, manufacturer is saying the GFCI is good to go to up to a certain length, and then you can plug one extension cord into the GFCI, and you're, and you're good. Absolutely. And okay. as long as you're not overloading the cord, you can plug three of the extension cords off the pigtail end. So it's not like we have a pigtail end with three, three plug-ins there. We can plug plug cord into each, each, each output. So that's why a G, the pigtail on a GFCI makes a lot of sense. But this pigtail so cord much. is technically an extension an cord. Extension cord. So if you plug thi this in with this, you're in violation. Absolutely. Okay. Labeling says the exact same thing on this as it does on the extension cord. So they're Great. treating them as the same thing. So plug, plug an extension cord into here or this into the end of the extension cord. Yeah. Plug in one cord into another. So stop using these unless this is all you're using and start using one of these and right. you'll be in compliance. Absolutely. That's all we need to do. Okay. Of course, that's only half the story. Check out coptool.com for the rest of it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And a special thanks to Travis and SafeX for helping us out with these videos. Thanks for having us, Jay. Appreciate it. Looking forward to doing more videos with you guys. Okay. Thanks. Be safe.